What's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna to be talking about Helen. Um, I've had a time to pull her, had a time to test her. Basically, I'm gonna give my kind of a very, very early take on Helen, whether or not you guys should basically pull for her. That's, that's the main goal of the video. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps you. If you've already pulled for her and you're not terribly pleased with the news that I have to say, um, or vice versa, Sorry, but it, this is just my personal take on the new Hero Glowblade. So basically, I maxed her out, um, pulled for her. I, I, I got pretty lucky in my pulls, if you guys want to check that out. Um, the video will be in the description. It's a long live stream video, but you can just basically skip ahead um, to the pulls or to the tests where I'm testing out Glowblade. Underwhelming is basically the word that I can use for Glowblade in, in most instances. Um, so basically, she's a damage dealer, right? As, as we kind of knew going into it, that she was going to be a damage dealer. Um, she's a shooter damage dealer. However, she doesn't really do enough damage to be good. So we can go, we can go here and look at, at some of the um, kind of battle reports that we have here. So here's one, 43,000, she did die in this battle, so it's not super indicative, but this is against, you know, Heaven's Redemption, Death Rider, Retro, which is a super, super, super common um, APC that you go against. You're, you're not always going to die, um, but in, in this example with Glowblade in the front, she really just doesn't have enough sustain uh, to survive basically that that's just kind of how it is um tried out several different combos so here we can see we have heaven's redemption scorpion um Globalade. she did about a hundred thousand and this is this is pretty average um depending on how many kind of support heroes Globalade has so basically the whole thing about Globalade, or about helen whatever, whatever you want to call her i don't really care some people just say blade i'm, I'm fine with any of those I'll probably use them interchangeably, but it's all this hero. So pretty much the thing about her is she needs poison or burning or bleeding heroes um, in conjunction with her in order for her to really do damage. Um, if she's alone, if she doesn't have any of those other types of heroes, she does not produce any of those abilities herself. She does not poison anybody. She does not burn anybody. And she does not bleed anybody her, herself so she really needs those heroes with her if she doesn't have any of those heroes with her if it's just you know regular heroes i guess that just give other stuff or heal or whatever globally it does around forty thousand damage um anywhere from you know 30 to sixty thousand damage um sixty thousand being the very high end around forty thousand is is kind of average if globally is paired up with one burning or poison or bleeding hero She'll do around 80,000 damage. If she's paired up with two burning, poison, or bleeding heroes, um, and they, they can be interchanged, so you can have you know, one, one, one burning and one poison hero, for example. Um, in those instances, she'll do, yeah, like I said, around you know, 100,000. It, it can go up to like 120,000 um, in those cases. I'm just showing a couple reports that we have here. Here's here's an example where um, where she has two. So she has Scorpion and Scarlet Siren. Scarlet Siren's a burning hero. Scorpion is a poison hero. And in this case, she does uh, you know around almost 110. Um, and that's around what you can expect is 100,000. Some are uh, maybe up to 120,000. Um, if you're facing someone who's equally you know the same strength. So the the account that I've used here um, to test and to attack are both. You know, fully maxed, pain blade, blah 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 blah, cutting edge, yada yada yada. So they're they're both uh, you know very strong bases um, in their own right. Also gone through the Hopeness Lab for Helen. Um, so you you could have seen from some of the earlier uh, reports that that she didn't have her Hopeness Lab um, skills at all. Originally, when she first released, um, you actually weren't able to, but. Um, since then, um, she does have her Hopeness Lab. Basically, you just want Might, pretty much just Might. Um, might, Tactical Might, any of the group, Group Might or Group Tactical Might. Um, damage or Skill Damage, those are basically the options that you want. And then for the you know advanced ability, um, it's not terribly important because, again, she's not that good. So I probably wouldn't spend too many resources on her, especially the Dictate Energies. But if you really wanted to, the advanced abilities you probably want to go are... 
well, I will just show you. Um, so here we have Glowblade. Like I said, um, she, she has gone into the Hopeness Lab now. Um, I don't really care about her too much because she's not terribly good, uh, at least at the moment. You know, maybe next season another hero will come out, another burning or bleeding or someone hero will come out and it'll synergize really well with her. In that case, um, you know, she, she, she could become pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to talk about the advanced abilities that you'd want on her. Greed is definitely a good option, depending on the combos that you're running. 100,000 damage very consistently. She did, she does very consistent damage, mind you. So 100,000 damage, um, especially if you, have, you, you get gold or purple greed, um, she's going to basically heal herself a, a, a significant amount. Full of Vigor is, is always a pretty solid option for any damage dealer. Um, full of Vigor basically works, whereas if, if, if you're not injured, so pretty much in the beginning of the, of the, of the game, uh, she'll be doing more damage, or rather she'll get more might, which in turn she'll do more damage, and then potential unleash is basically the opposite. So once, you're, once you've been injured uh, below 50%, then she'll get an increase in might and resistance and do more damage. Uh, now resistance you don't really care about. The, these abilities aren't like anything amazing but like i said I, I don't really consider glowblade to be that amazing um she pretty much has one apc combo and or more or less so that 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 involves her being paired up with scorpion um is pretty much how she has to be played unfortunately the reason is you really, really need a Poison or Burning Hero. Without it, 40,000 damage for somebody who only does damage. She does not CC, she does not support, she does not heal. She literally only does damage. She's like worse, she doesn't debuff, she doesn't buff. She's, she's like worse than Bird in terms of she literally just does damage. But 40,000 is nowhere near enough damage for a damage dealer, for especially a Season X damage dealer. If she's paired up with two, um, you know, two heroes, a hundred thousand to a hundred twenty thousand consistently, isn't bad. It's it's not great. It's nothing to be like, oh my god, amazing, but it's certainly not bad. So the the, the main combo that's generally going to be run um, for her is going to be basically this: Scarlet Siren, Scorpion, Glowblade. Now the other problem with Glowblade is since she's a shooter hero, she really can't go in the front. She'll just die, as you saw in one of those battle reports. She died pretty early and only did around 40,000 against vehicle, vehicle, vehicle even, mind you, um, even though she's a shooter hero. Against somebody like, um, you know, Flare, for example, uh, or even against kind of a mirror matchup or Huntress or anything like that, um, Glowblade's basically just going to die. Which means if she's paired up with Scorpion, which 99% of the time she's going to be paired up with Scorpion, you're going to have to place her in the back row. What this does is it allows Huntress to basically just eat Glowblade alive, um, which certainly, certainly hurts Glowblade's stock value even more. Again, if you try to put her in the front row, you you, you can. Um, I guess if you're just, just concerned about Huntress. But after the first three rounds, Huntress is just going to kill Glowblade anyway. So it's it's not really a good option there. So this combo is pretty much what you're going to be running. Um, but is it better than some of the other options like Scarlet Siren, Scorpion, Dawn? Not really. Um, it's not really better. It's not really worse. Um, if, if, if anything, it's worse, but it, it's probably pretty just you know pretty equal. However, a lot of people are using Dawn in other combos. Dawn's a little Dawn's uh Dawn's pretty valuable right now, and especially players who have Flare, oftentimes will use Dawn and Flare, in which case you kind of have an open slot. Some players are using Cannon S, some players, you know, aren't aren't even using Scorpion really, some are using Lust, some are using Death Rider, um, and, and the list kind of goes on. However, now you can kind of just use Glowblade, and um, it, it's, it's a pretty solid option. The other options that people are running, though, Scarlet Siren sometimes goes with Flare. People are running, you know, Cannon and HR, for example. Uh, this this new menu is, is quite awful. So something like this. This combo is basically the same as Scarlet Siren, Scorpion, Glowblade. So Glowblade doesn't really add any anything currently to the to the meta. She doesn't change any of the meta combos. Um, she's basically just another hero that you can kind of just fit in. 
to any of the combos if you don't maybe you don't have some of the other heroes like you you, you might not have dawn or cannon or hr or who knows um you can sort of fit Glowblade in in those instances other than that if you don't have scorpion um or scarlet siren um and you're trying to use like venom walker for example it's just really it's not going to work um it, it, it's going to be pretty abysmal and even combos that that are like scarlet siren glow blade and let's just say dawn um it's still pretty pretty weak so again to kind of wrap it up i would say skip 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 glow blade this season the pool that she's in if you need the heroes in the pool and you have every other hero for example, I mean, I guess you can, but um, in, in my opinion, I would pretty much just skip her completely, skip her pool, and definitely focus on the collector, Edwin, the collector pool, just because of the other units. Even if Edwin isn't good, the other pool is still significantly better. You have Edwin, who again, even if he sucks, whatever, you have Flare, you have Scorpion, and you have Retro. Those three at the end there are all very, very meta heroes, super used, and if you don't have them, you're, you're, you know, your base is going to be uh, weaker. So no matter what, the second pool is definitely the one to go for. The only exception is, I guess, if you have all those heroes and you really want, like, Dawn or, and Cyclone. Um, so up to you guys. Again, I would definitely pass on Glowblade this season. If I could rewind time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull her. But um, it doesn't really matter in my sake. Anyway, that's about it, guys. If you wanted me to, to do anything else or you have any other questions on Glowblade or any other combos, maybe you found some new combo that's like insanely crazy and good and it's like, oh, Warhound plus Glowblade. You know, somehow Warhound does bleed. I don't know. It's definitely not going to be the case. But if you feel like there's a combo that, that's super, super good, um, with Glowblade, please just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, give me guys your feedback on Glowblade. What do you think? For 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 the most part, everybody who's who's actually pulled her and tested her um, in you know more of a controlled environment, not just like looking at a screenshot from a Mega Whale attacking a farm. Everyone sort of agrees that uh, Glowblade right now isn't the best. Again, there might be potential next season if some crazy bleed hero comes out. Um, then you know. Maybe, maybe Glowblade will be better. But for now, it's a pass from me. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully it helps, helps with your decision. Um, it's always tough to pass, I know. It, it is always tough to pass. But the thing is, even if even if next season Glowblade becomes really good, you can just pull her next season. She'll, she'll be in the pool. She'll be in the small pool for next season, the next season after that, and then the season after that. So it, you... you you have plenty and plenty, plenty of time, um, and you're really not going to lose anything by not pulling her this season. All right, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Take care. I will catch you guys in the next time. Once we get Edwin, once he's unlocked, I will do the exact same thing, a long live stream where I'll pull him, um, test him, and then I'll, I'll give my thoughts right before Hero Day so that the rest of you can um, you know, kind of decide whether or not it's worth it for you to pull. All right, thanks. Catch you guys later. Peace. Wake up early mornings, late nights, hopping on a different flight. What's the meaning of life, eh? Wake up, same ish, different day. Make a wish, call it pray. Am I sick? Am I okay, eh? Stay up.